If there's one thing I've learned from Quentin Tarantino, it's that you can use the n-word in your work and people will literally praise you for it. And what do you know? Apparently, I'm not the only one that learned this from Tarantino. The author of this webtoon angered a lot of people with their series when they introduced a black character that was drawn stereotypically because apparently it's a joke that people are supposed to find funny I guess. And then he made the other characters in the webtoon make fun of him for how he looks and call him the n-word with the hard r. If that's not telling you something Something about society, then I don't know what else to tell you. I have seen webtoons have their highest highs and their lowest, lowest lows, lows, but I have never, never in my life witnessed something this diabolical. Get schooled or true education. I don't know and I really don't care. I did not read the whole chapter and I'm not going to read the whole chapter. I do not think I can, I don't think I can take it. And it's even more ironic because I literally just picked up the webtoon again about a week about ago. About a week ago, a week ago, a week ago. ago. And I caught up to it because I honestly have not opened the webtoon app in a minute. I normally open in like short bursts and I like binge read and then I just drop the app again. I, it's, it's a habit. But nothing could prepare me for the screenshots that I saw for chapter 125 all over my For You page. Let's say I'm disappointed. I could. I could say I'm surprised. I could. But I'm not. And, and. and stuff like this always makes it so apparent how POC solidarity is never going to work. Because why would you think that the best option to fight racism is to be racist? <laughs> what were you on when you wrote this chapter? Did your editor not give you a warning? Your, your, your artist? Anybody? How did this slide? Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Get School, the horrifying webtoon drawing black characters and abusing them for fun. If you're new to this channel and like listening to art commentary style videos or just videos discussing things that are happening in the art community, please subscribe to the channel and join the Discord server using the link in the description. Now before all this drama started surrounding this series, I had not seen anything about it aside from people just making TikToks and casually talking about it and most people who have been reading it for some time seem to have been enjoying it. And then all of a sudden, it started appearing all over my timeline and people calling the author out for his ridiculous portrayal of racial discrimination in the comic. Now before we even get far into this video, please accept my apologies because I know I am going to butcher some of these names and I literally can't can't even help myself at this point. Get Schooled is a webtoon written by Che Young Tech and the art was made by Han Garam and I can't lie the art in the comic looks pretty decent. The whole premise of Get Schooled is that the story is centered around the experiences of students in the educational system and they're making a social commentary about bullying amongst teens I believe and how the system is seeking justice for victims of bullying and is taking disciplinary action against bullies. There's also this heavy disclaimer that says there are themes of gore violence, mild explicit language, and depictions of self-harm. If this makes you uncomfortable, I recommend not reading this webtoon. I'm guessing someone failed to remember the part about mild language because some of the screenshots I saw from the episode that triggered everyone were pretty far from being considered mild explicit language. But we'll get to that in a second. Get Schooled Educational Plot A list of schools will be investigated and cleaned up for all kinds of harm from teachers, bullies, and proper educational values. An anti-corporal punishment act was passed to prevent the need for corporal punishment methods for their students. However, this triggered many difficulties in managing students. The death of a teacher triggered a new change two years later. Thus, the Teachers Protection Act was made to keep students in line as well as any teachers. This all seems pretty specific. Is this based on real life events or is all of this just made up? Because that's a pretty thick plot for a comic book. Meet the characters. Na. Something happened in his past and he is using this new job as a way to seek justice. Aren't you supposed to go for therapy when something happens in your past and you're trying to get over it? Or maybe that's just me. My guy is using teaching students as his therapy. He reprimands teachers and students using violence, strength, and humble new teaching methods. He enjoys putting people in line and teaching them valuable lessons the easy, 
or hard way. He enjoys putting people in line and teaching them valuable lessons the easy or hard way. I can see this is going to be a really long night. Hanrin M. She is a warden for teachers, but she used to be a sergeant to Hua Jinna in the military. But now, she is using her sweet smile and physical power to keep all kinds of students in line. So basically, she is Miss Trunchbull, but Korean. Got it. Gansuk Choi. This brother just looks evil, man. Like, I can already tell he's definitely up to no good. This is the kind of evil school principal that sends students to detention when they didn't do nothing and has ties with the school bullies and uses them as his personal army. Look at this man's face. It has evil written all over it. Meet the bullies who need a lesson. Jun Hyung, the son of a congressman. He takes advantage of his father's status to act up in class and bully Pyong Su Park and a student named Daeso. He reminds me of the bully from that one Korean series, All of Us Are Dead, the one that turned part zombie and just couldn't die and kept on coming back to attack the main characters. That guy, Gwon Hyuk, he is the number one fighter in the electrical engineering department at this school. He is extremely strong and fearless. He is merciless and is known by various school gangs classic bully. This is the guy that takes all your lunch money and then pulls your pants out and then puts you in the dumpster and leaves you there making fun of you so everyone else can laugh. And then we get introduced to the characters who get their asses bullied in the comic I presume. We have Baesong Park, Dae Suk, Hyung Joo, Hyun Wong Choi, Sung Young Jun, Seohyun Park, and Yoon Ha Park. Colorful, Colorful names. names. I wish I could find the actual comic and read it on here. That would have been so much fun because I really want to see what types of things these characters got themselves into because some of these descriptions just sounded a little too intense. But sadly, the comic has been removed entirely from Webtoon and I don't think there's any way for me to find it and read. So if you guys know any link or anywhere I could find the comic to read it, please just leave a comment. Even if it's just one episode or a couple of episodes, Please just leave a link in the comment or something, I'll be so glad. Because all I'm stuck with is just screenshots from the last episode that started all this drama and got everybody just worked up for no reason. How else would you rather calm your nerves than with the sponsor of today's video, Fume. If you're like me and you find it difficult to curb your bad habits, the easiest way to do so is by replacing them with good habits and that's where Fume comes in. Fume is an innovative all-natural little device that uses flavored air and is filled with delicious flavors like orange vanilla, raspberry lemon, and sparkling grapefruit. Fume has a dedicated adjustable airflow dial, giving your fingers something to fidget with when you're anxious or in stressful situations. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. So if you would like to try out Fume today, head over to tryfume.com slash agbadi or scan the QR code and use code agbadi to get 10% off when you get the journey pack. All the links will be in the description of this video and thank you to Fume for sponsoring this video. Alright, now let's take a look at some of the panels from episode 125 of School. Disclaimer, I don't know what to expect but I'm pretty sure it's going to be bad and racist so be prepared for that I guess. Episode 125 features Huang Ho Jun, a middle school student residing in a countryside town with a diverse population identifying himself as the sole pure Korean in his class. In the same episode, Lee Muk Yun, a school bully, is described as Korean Ethiopian with a massive physique. Several unsettling moments are featured throughout the episode, for example, a group of high school students students are seen subjecting the bully to racial slurs that are equivalent to the n-word, culminating in a physical altercation. Lee is then depicted mocking other students who have been forced to act like monkeys. How did this get approved? So you mean a normal person sat down and wrote this script and another normal person sat down, read the script and agreed to literally turn this script into a full comic and publish it. My expectations for humanity are running at an all-time low right now. I can't even lie. So I'm guessing the black kid is the bully and he says to the teacher, your skin color is atrocious, which is apparently something students say to teachers in school, I guess. Oh my God, McKeon took aim at the teacher. L let's just stay quiet. 
Hmm. I've been called that quite a lot because East Harlem where I lived was an area where racism was particularly bad. Especially racism from students like yourself towards Asians was pretty bad. Wh what? What? L like me? And I'd counter them like this every time. Daddy, chill. Wow. Is it just me or have you guys also seen that this is clearly not mild explicit language? I mean, I had no idea what exactly I was expecting from this, but this... Nah, this is just wild. So this clearly stirred a lot of drama on Twitter and TikTok and it got a lot of people talking about it, with some people calling the author a racist and promoting the use of derogatory words while others argued that this was a thing that was already happening and was not out of the norm. There's a lot of data and evidence painting to the high percentage that Africans are often immensely racist towards Asians, as evidenced by the increased crime of one group against the other. Many seem to forget that there was previous Previously, an entire Stop Asian Hate campaign as well, which died out quickly for obvious reasons. Further supporting the comic's point, please don't take the whole webtoon down. It shows real world problems and I'm here for it. Why take it down when it's tackling a real life issue or can we not discuss how racism actually works? Honestly, this entire comic is extremely controversial. I liked some of the story arcs but it's pretty obvious as many people have mentioned before. The author wrote this story from a writer's standpoint. The feminism arc was handled pretty poorly. Racism on the other hand was something I was expecting in the comic at some point, but holy shit, I wasn't expecting an n-word drop just like that. Neither was I, my brother. I mean, I get that the writer was trying to make a social commentary about racial discrimination between Asians and blacks, and also how they use racial profiling and stereotypes to make fun of other people just because of how they look or their skin color, but them tackling it like this and just throwing the n-word around seems pretty overboard to me, I think. I feel there are better ways to talk about this in a comic without are resorting to using derogatory words aimed at making fun of other races and then indirectly attacking specific groups of people who might be reading the comic and might end up enjoying it and liking it. Get schooled is conservative propaganda. It was bullied in school so the concept of a webtoon where bullies get beat up and revenge and all that was pretty appealing which is why I started reading but the more I got into it I realized it's just conservative propaganda for corporal punishment. Um, it's not like they're making it into a fantasy scenario is very much applied to the real world. You have this politician right here who's made out to be this badass cool dude. He's very clearly a conservative. The, pretty early on in the story he makes fun of how stupid journalists are because the author makes them ask really stupid questions that no real person would ever ask. And it's, it, it's just this grown man going into schools, beating up kids and showing why the youth is depraved and why it should be okay for teachers to hit students and why the progress of making corporal punishment illegal was wrong. It's not. There is a reason teachers aren't allowed to hit students. And the entire webtoon has been feeling weird since around, well, since the beginning, but especially since chapter 40. So, you know, I'm just saying the whole thing about, oh, there's no pure Koreans left, which is also something mentioned in the chapter, and then bringing in this half-white motherfucker with blonde hair and bluish eyes and making him say the n-word with a hard R, not a surprise. This whole situation brought up so many discussions on Twitter, with other artists sharing their own experiences with Webtoon and how the platform has always had a race problem for some time. As a black webcomic artist, I'm not surprised about Get Schooled Racist episode. I've only been in the community for only a year and the way I've been treated along with my black OCs is crazy. Racism is a problem that keeps getting swept under the rug. I've noticed ever since Black History Month and how there was literally mutuals of mine agreeing with people of how dumb it was specifically promoting black stories during that month and that the whole thing should be cancelled. I had mutuals making racist memes about my black OCs and people telling me I'll never grow drawing black OCs along with mutuals downvoting my comic and talking about me and my OCs behind my back. I've met some awesome people in the webcomic community who are as gentle as a flower but there's so many toxic artists in this community too and majority do not care about black representation 
or black creators. I am so sorry that happened to you, bro. I find it funny how people pretend to like something and then just go behind your back and talk about you and make fun about it. It just never made sense to me. If you don't like it, why bother pretending anyway? Well, the writer and artist of Get Gold had to make a public statement after all the backlash they received and eventually they took down episode 125 from webtoon. Initially, they just suspended the English version of Get Schooled from being public in the United States but then they still had the Korean version still up but then later on they just decided to take the entire webtoon down. That's why you can't find it anywhere to read. The episode aimed to depict the current societal challenges in South Korea, emphasizing the unique dynamics facing multicultural and immigrant families, which is sadly fostering discrimination against these groups. This discrimination is fast becoming a critical societal concern. With Get Schooled, our objective was to bring this issue to light. The episode was a heavy metaphor for the societal construct in South Korea, where racism against multicultural individuals and families is a huge huge challenge that often leads to the suppressed being isolated and exploited. I also found this interesting take about the situation on Reddit and they broke down the problem with Get Schooled and how it missed the mark with how it tackled racial discrimination. There's nothing wrong with portraying racism in a work of fiction. The issue with Get Schooled isn't that they had a character say the n-word, but the character was framed as totally in the right because actually black kids are the true bullies. As long as you're not depicting these stereotypes as true actually, I don't think it will be wrong. It's also important to know your audience. Most of the people who read the webtoons are teenagers looking for escapist fun. So putting real world racism in the mouth of anyone but an obvious villain will probably turn off some of your readership, which seems to make a lot of sense. Since the comic is trying to tackle real world problem with its underlying themes, the writers still need to remember that their use of language is still going to impact and hurt a lot of people that might unfortunately relate to some of the situations in the comic. Handling racism in works of fiction has always been quite tricky and could immediately go bad if not done properly. And I think more time should be spent when writing scenes that include racial profiling and the use of slurs and these scenes should be handled with care so much so that when people eventually watch it or read it, they wouldn't find it hurtful or feel like it is attacking one particular race or the other and will relate to it because it's either being a comedic satire or it's mindfully creating a parody of a scenario they have seen while still being respectful to every individual race involved. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, share the video with a friend if you learned something from it too and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. With all that being said, I will see all you pretty penguins in the next video. Bye.